Hello everyone, it's Cress, aka Lady Taka, and it is time for a thrift store finds rummage sale haul video. So this goes all the way back to July 3rd, and then I actually didn't go rummage selling on Saturday because I was just sick with allergies. So the first few things are from the 3rd when we went to the Festival of Treasures in Ishpering, Rita and I. And of course we hit the thrift stores. We did hit the antique stores too, but we didn't find anything there. So the first store we hit was Vinny's and they were having an awesome sale. Almost everything was a dime. You know, like most of the books were a dime. Most of the knickknacks were a dime. Um, most of the toys were on sale. But So I did get a couple toys. I got this uh, Dorothy Gale figure, which isn't my favorite design for Dorothy Gale, but I have the rest of the characters in this series. I have the witch. I have the little cowardly lion. I have... Uh, Scarecrow and Tin Man. So I kind of wanted to complete my series and I just have to, I'll have to look it up just to double check that I now have them all, but I think I've completed the series. So that's for me. And then I could not resist. It's not in the best shape. There's some scratching and fading. Someone obviously played with it. Um, they originally had it marked at 50 cents, but I think it was actually a quarter. Uh, at Vinny's, it's a little cab. And it's Bert from Sesame Street driving. So I will probably put that in Dad's Christmas Village because I like having characters like that. And then a couple knickknacks I got. I have no idea how old this is, but for a dime it looked interesting. I liked the wire on it representing the trunk of the palm tree and it's a metal palms as well. Um, if I can find it, I haven't found it researching yet. I think what you can do is put a place card in there. I'm not quite sure though. Um, otherwise it's just decorative. There's no markings on the bottom. So we'll see if I can find anything on it and it's really interesting. I might try to sell it through my Etsy for part of my vintage part of my shop. I will have or make sure to do this for part of my vintage haul. This is actually a Hallmark plaque. Uh, and it actually is made in the USA. A lot of times the, the Hallmark things are actually made in Korea or something. And I'm trying to take off the Vinny's label right now because I didn't pay the quarter that's on here. I only paid a dime. Um, but it's very cute. It's got kitty cats on it. Playing with string. And there's even a little mouse getting in on the game. It says it's from... I think it's as old as me, 1981. It says, life's a tickle and a giggle, a purr and a play. So I thought I'd try to sell that through my Etsy. And because it features an animal, part of the money spent on it will go to uh, an animal cause. This one will go to you, Paws, because it's more indoor pets. And if I sell something like horses or farm animals, it's going to go to Sunrise Animal Sanctuary. And I, I just said wildlife will also go to uh, animal... Sunrise Animal Sanctuary because pretty much I think Jason will take in anything at this point. So, and then the last three, I, I also got a mug that I will likely try to sell. I won't jack up the price like the Precious Moments figures someone was doing this weekend. Yesterday, I stopped at a few rummage sales before working. Someone was trying to get $10 a figure. I'm like, no, the only reason I buy it is someone, I think Michelle sent me, tagged me on Facebook. This guy took uh, like a Bible reading one and turned it into the book of the dead from the evil dead. So, so this is from 1978. It is gold rimmed. Um, it actually still has the UNESCO Japan sticker for the imports on it. Um, but they put it on the side, which is kind of interesting. I don't think it's ever actually been used. There's just a little dust on the bottom. Um, but yeah, it says UNESCO right there, but the tag actually still stayed on the, the gold Looks good. It says love one another, which I love that concept. There are no animals on this one, but there's just two really cute little kids. And but I thought it was really positive and vintage -y and so I'm gonna try to sell that. And then I got three books. They say a dollar, but I only paid a dime. Um I got Getting Away with Murder, Father Darling Mystery, and I'm just going through the rest of my books now, like to re-update my lists to make sure I'm, so I'm not sure if I have this already, but I figure if nothing else, it's still the dust jacket and everything. If I ended up duplicating, 
I'm just going to do what I did with the Caterpillar book I accidentally bought two of the same copy of. I'll put it on my Etsy as a vintage item. You know, but this is really nice because it still has its dust jacket. The only thing wrong is a little staining and like a little tearing in it, but not too bad. And this is actually pretty large print. So um, hopefully though it's not a repeat and hopefully it's like one I still needed. And then I, I literally threw this in just on the cover. Super folks. Uh, a novel by Robert Mayer, Return to Earth and You're Finished. There were no more heroes. Kennedy was dead. Batman and Robin were dead. Superman was missing. Captain Mantra was in a sanitarium. Even Snoopy had bought it. The last to give up the fight had been the most powerful hero of all. Run, even he can't save the city. I was like, I gotta read this. Um, especially for a dime. And uh, it's really... I was like... All right, I'm intrigued, and it's from 1977, so when I'm done reading it, I can sell it on Etsy. So, I'm currently reading the uh, fifth of the Millennial series, uh, the, the Girl Who Took an Eye for an Eye. I'm trying to read, and then I grab this, I'm most likely going to give it as a gift. The dust jacket isn't in great condition, but the image is still awesome. It's an Alfred Hitchcock, uh, 50 Years of His Motion Pictures. And, like, someone even left an article in here about Dial H in here for a reference or something. So, it still has got all its pictures. No one's destroyed it for crafting or anything. So, it's likely going to be a gift for someone. But, uh, then I went to the other thrift store in Ishbarming. And the first thing I found was this cute shot glass for a quarter. Um, and it says, uh, men working and, uh, has down the hatch on it because he fell down the open manhole. I'm probably going to keep this for my own shot glass con collection if when I put it up I don't already have it because I do have a few that are about the same vintage era and I couldn't remember if I had it or not but I really liked it so um, it's probably a keeper and if it's not a keeper it's because I already have it but I wasn't I don't have a description of my shot glasses because I don't collect them that often because I only like the really funny ones that play on the alcoholism a bit. <laughs> and then I found this really pretty mug for 29 cents. And it's marked Made in the USA. So I liked that. Uh, it's got Treasure Craft on it. I have not looked it up at all yet. It's got number 351 on the bottom. But it has this really pretty floral design. So I thought that might sell well. And it's a nicely different shape than most other mugs. Like... This is like your standard shape mug, you know, where in the olden days, people didn't drink a ton of coffee. So this is about the, a little bit smaller that way, but it's way wider. So it probably holds more than the standard for the day. So I know a lot of people, I mean, I'm addicted to caffeine, just not coffee. I'm addicted to pop. Speaking of, I'm sorry, my throat's still awful. The allergens have not gone down at all. And it is hot and humid and I did not have air conditioning in my office all day, so... So I thought that was really quite adorable and pretty. And it's got this speckled pattern the rest of the way, which reminds me of the Oteri, Oteri mugs. And then the last thing I got there was uh, for a quarter. I spent like a dollar there. Um, is this cute little uh, RCA chipper. Now I know I have a slightly bigger chipper. I don't have nipper because nipper comes as a giant thing. But I figured for a quarter, I could put this next to my other RCA dog that's a little bigger that's supposed to go with the giant one and be his kid. And it would still look like you had the dad and the kid. Um, so, again, I love advertising. And then Monday, last week, Rita and I went to St. Vinny's. No, Wednesday we went to St. Vinny's. Thursday? One of those days. I'm totally out of it. Too much heat. And I found all these... Uh, they were, well, while well, this says $1.50, they only charged me $0.75. Cents. They had a different sticker on them, so you had to go with whatever the smaller sticker was. So I got three packs of those, so I thought they'd look great for the Christmas party with the gold-decorated limb rim. I mean, for the, the summer party I just had, I just put out the normal punch set cups, but we have a much longer party for Christmas. We have a day after Christmas thing, and it goes from, like, noon till 8 at least. And that's only if we have to go to trivia or something. We'll, we'll end a little earlier, but we've literally had some one of our friends leave at 2 in the morning. 
So that's why we won't have to worry about like rewashing the punch cups while more people arrive. So I thought that was helpful. And then I passed up this guy in larger form last week at Goodwill because they wanted $3 for him. This is Duke, not to be confused with Duke the Bush's Beans Dog, but this is Duke from uh, Secret Life of Pets. This is the Thai version. I don't normally buy much Thai stuff anymore with the whole Beanie Baby thing, but it was a, I, I think I paid, the tag says 50 cents and I think toys were half off that day. So I paid a quarter for him. So that's my definite price range. And he, he'll just take up less room in the collection. Um, Again, he's newer, so I couldn't sell him on Etsy anyway, but he's very soft and cuddly. Um, again, I have a toy edition. I do. And then I was so sad because I found a, a sheet that had this pattern on it, and but I only found one. It only had the flat sheet, and I wasn't... I can't, I can't sew, so I couldn't make drapes out of it or something, but I did find the pillowcases, and I figured... So someone else wasn't disappointed that one piece of the set was missing at least it was only the sheet but it was this really pretty butterfly pattern and there were two there and I think I'm actually going to use them for my own bed <laughs> normally when I'm pulling pillowcases now it's to uh for the dog's pillow because he'll get anxious and rip up the pillowcase but not damage the pillow at all but I think this would work with almost every sheet set we own except maybe the teal one that's on Rita's bed right now but like we have a yellow sheet set we have gray sheet sets we have blue sheet sets so I thought that would look good definitely have to wash them someone used a heavily perfumed room and then the last thing I got St. Vinny's is uh some random beads uh I'd pay a dollar fifty for them um I would keep them for myself, but mo I don't really need this color set. Um, there's only a few that are clear. I tend to use the ones that look more like crystals. Once in a while, if there's a really great color, I'll keep that. But currently, uh, the Elks are doing a fundraising thing for uh, Baycliff, and th they do this every summer, and every summer I miss it. So I've had a paper bag that's filled with crafting so hot. So well, not filled completely. It has a little more room. To give people for the kids to craft with in their section. So this is going to go in that bag. And then similarly, I picked up other crafting stuff. Um, but before I get to that, because that was the last stop on Saturday before I got to work, I'll go through the two things I found otherwise. This was in the free box, and there were other figures from this set in the box, but this was the, the one that looked the least scratched up and I really, I already have a big Baymax, like, that talks, which breaks one of my rules usually, <laughs> but uh, I like Fred when he's in his Fred cost when he's in his costume. I cannot right now think of what the character in costume is called, but he shoots fire in that, um, but it's actually a really good action figure. As an action, you can, like, bend his knees, his elbows bend, like, pretty good. Only thing would have been cooler, like, they kind of have the spikes coming out, is if you could push those in and his mouth opened and, like, shot out fire. Uh, or, like, fire facsimile. But, for free, you know, it's just going to go on my shelf with the rest of my action figures. And this is my first find of the day. And it's just a very cute, vintage-looking cat. Um, it's not marked. I'm not even sure exactly what it's made of. I think it's just porcelain, but I'm not even sure which type. I It might be a mold. I can't tell. It doesn't look completely molded, but um, the paint job's fairly good. It needs a little cleaning for dustiness in the crevices and that, but it looks like someone wasn't like necessarily professional painting. It might have been a home kit, but I really like that it's not perfect in any way. There's no chips in it, but it definitely has, like, character, like, you would be able to identify your cat if you were painting your cat. Because, like, overall, yes, it's a black and white cat with a little pink in their ears and green eyes, but, like, his nose has, like, a spot of silver on it. Like, a very specific thing. Like, I feel like someone was painting their cat. And, but he's really cute. I'm gonna 
tried to sell them in my Etsy shop. Again, part of the proceeds would go to UPAS because it's a pet uh, featured item. Um, but I would not be mad if he didn't sell and I had to keep it. Uh, so see how cute he is. And then the last place I stopped was a school closing, like an elementary school. And you could get a whole thing of stuff for a donation. So I pretty much filled this box and I gave them $10. So a couple of these things I'm just going to give to Bakelit. I, I picked up um, a little six piece pallet thing. Uh, generally for pallets, I use old CD cases. Um, but I figured this would help a kid who doesn't want, you know, their colors mixing on them. So that's going to go in there. And then I think uh, this might go in there. It's just a little fall inspiration pumpkin patch thing. Uh, it's kind of like buttons. They have like, here, let me get, so you can see there's scarecrow, watering can, pumpkins, it's still sealed. And then the thing that made me just give her a 10 is th that could basically pay for this pile of magnets, which are going to stay away from the computer right now. Um, cause that's the craft I do when I'm just pissed at everything. Cause you can just glue those on real quick and just leave them alone for 24 hours. Um, and I was down to like one magnet. So this was good timing. Um, <clears throat> then this one, I actually got a lock and lock container if nothing else, but what it has in it is like one random old makeup brush of a different sort, but most of them are like this. And those actually make really good paint project things because like, especially if you don't want to reuse a certain paint, but you need a certain kind of texture to it you want to do. These these have a different texture than if you're using a normal paintbrush. Um, I mean, there's one here that's a little bit longer, but most of them are just short, but they're actually really useful for crafts. So I got a lock and lock out of it, if nothing else. Then I got, I left one of these there. This is a value pack of green floral wire. And this is a 22 gauge caliber. Um, but it's about the same size as notebook wire, which is what I usually use for my ornament slash sun catchers. I thought the green would work really well for the Christmas ornament feel. So, um, not that I was out of wire, but you know, I don't want them ending up throwing them in the trash. And I think I actually mentioned to the lady, if they have a bunch of craft stuff after, you know, they could donate it to Baycliffe if they didn't have anywhere else to put stuff. So got some floral wire. Then I got this. Now, the only thing wrong with it is it doesn't have its handle in the box, but it's still in the box. It's this little five piece Winnie the Pooh set. And all the books are in there for the set. It still has its original price tag on it, which was $12.99 at Toys R Us. The only thing wrong with it, like, and, and this is a school thing where multiple kids could have held on to it. Not one kid wrote on any page. I looked through every page. So I was kind of impressed with those kids because I wasn't that good as a kid. So it uses the older vintage style of Pooh Bear for the different illustrations. And you get uh, Pooh goes visiting, Pooh and Piglet go hunting, Eeyore has a birthday, Kinga and Baby Roo come to the forest, and Christopher Robin leads an exposition. I hope I said that right. Uh, so I'm going to try to sell this on Etsy. It's from 1995. It's not too, too old, but by Etsy standards, it's allowed to be called vintage. Um, and hopefully that will pay for most of the donation I gave. Um, but I still won't be mad if I don't make my money back because I'll just end up donating this to a kid I know or something. Uh, and then the rest of this box is tissue paper. Because when you do craft and you do craft shows, wrapping things in tissue paper is good. But if all else fails, it's nice to have a layer of tissue paper when you're even packing something to go. So I got all of that. <clears throat> so that is what I've gotten in the past week or so. Um, again, I didn't go rummage sailing at all on July 6th because I was just, it was only like four listed. Uh, Rena and dad went, they only found like three more and had to drive like all over the county to even get those. Um, but we actually 
all found something uh, yesterday rummage selling. So that was nice. Um, so again, uh, I'll put the link for my Etsy store down below. Um, I'm trying to add things every day except for the days I'm working my main job. Uh, so most days I'm trying to add a little bit um, to try and keep it up because like most of this year I haven't been keeping it up. I've barely been touching it and it's like I should really do more. I really should. Um, but thanks for watching. Hopefully uh, rummage selling and th next weekend will be even better because I'll be able to like go the whole day because I won't be working. And also I do plan to go to like uh, a few thrift stores and I even plan to tomorrow to try and the antique store right in town that I've never been in called Birdcage because I have to go get my oil change right down the block. So I might as well spend that 15, 20 minutes of working in my car looking at antiques. Not going to guarantee I'm going to buy anything. Uh, it just depends on the item and how overpriced someone wants you to pay for it. And usually though with antique stores around here, you're usually buying for you, not for resale because people will try and get every penny out of it. Um, but again, thanks for watching.